So we're going to talk a little bit about type settings. So this is um, something that can come last uh, in this, your process for this project. Normally, you probably would not save this to the, the end if you're working kind of professionally. Um, but just for the sake of our learning process here, uh, this is what we're kind of considering a polishing touches for our design. So I have this example up here. Let me zoom in a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Um, so this is just an article I put in just really quickly. Um, and you'll notice a few things that look a little <coughs> weird. And to the untrained eye, you might actually think, well, I mean, it's just text on the page. What's, what's the big deal? But these lines, like this paragraph that gets that ends right here, and now there's just one line at the bottom, or at the top, this, this one line at the top of this column, that's no good, okay? Also, these little, uh, like, one words that end, at the end of a paragraph that just get kind of left on a new line, it's distracting and it's a uh, bad typesetting, okay? The lines that are by themselves at the top are called widows. The ones at the bottom are the orphans. These words that are just at the end of the paragraph are runts, and we need to get rid of those, okay? As I have put in this text, this body copy into this article, it automatically um, has hyphenation on. We also want to turn off hyphenation. Now, hyphenation is not always a bad thing, uh, but it is kind of lazy. And it also can be just uh, unnecessary to have, you know, like a long word um, just broken up in the middle of it. And I'm going to first open a window, come up to, to come down to type in tables, um, open up my paragraph window, and you'll see this little button at the bottom left that has hyphenate checked. I'm going to uncheck that. And you'll notice when I did that, it moved some things around. So if I turn it off and on, you see how the text <coughs> changes? It's because as the words are either being broken up or not broken up, they're changing the lines of text and therefore changing um, the paragraph, it could be adding or taking away a line, which then moves everything else around based on how it's broken up with each co uh, column, okay? So first step, turn off hyphenation. Now let's see what we got. Um, okay, so that actually got rid of um, some of those widows and orphans. Um, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to turn it back on so I can start adjusting some of these here. So the way we're going to get rid of these <coughs> is by first off um, adjusting the, uh, the tracking. Now, I say that, but you guys can also kind of do a little cheat for this project. You would not do this um, without permission for a client or something, but <laughs> an easy way um, to change this also is you can actually just change the text. And by that, I mean you could add text or take away. I am not reading everybody's article. That's not the point of this project. I am not going to read all the words um, in every single article that you, you put on here. So, you know, again, cheat, let's, I'm just going to copy this sentence. Um, and then I'm going to add it to the bottom of this one, which should push down this line and get rid of it. So if I paste it here, that adds another line to the end of this paragraph, and it pushes it down, and now the other one starts up here. Um, now I'm gonna undo that, and now do it, try it another way, uh, the correct way, if you're working professionally. All the paragraphs, all the text before this line, I can start by selecting it all, and I can make little adjust adjustments to the tracking. So under the character window, over here, um, the little symbol that shows uh, a little left and right arrow, right now it's set to zero. 
But um, right now it says zero. You can type in any number you want. Um, I'm, let's say if I put in five, and watch what happens. So it changes the spacing, the tracking of this text. Now, five was not enough. We still have this here. So I'm going to keep going up. So I bumped it up to 10. That made the, the spacing longer, so the lines longer, which then pushed some words down, pushed some of the lines of text down, and then pushed this one um, off of the bottom and now up to the top. Okay. Now that looks a lot better. This paragraph is very nice and neat, ends at the bottom of, of this column, um, and then this one starts fresh at the top, okay? So uh, we're, we're also just pretending that um, this is not just a, a one sentence paragraph. That was just a, a quirk in the example. Okay, so that's how you kind of push that down, all right? Another option is if you have an orphan, um, sorry, a widow at the top here like on this column, uh, you also want to get rid of that. You could uh, decrease the tracking of the whole thing. So I'm going to select all of this. And instead of going up towards 10, um, let me put it back to zero. Let's go minus. So let's see. All right, so at minus 20, um, it bumped it up too much. Now we have another orphan at the bottom. So it's somewhere between minus 10 to minus 20. Let me put in minus 15. Uh, there you go. Okay. So now this kind of scrunched things up. This ends neatly here. And this one, in order to not have the space at the top, then I would go in and uh, get rid of that, that spacing. So this column begins nice and neat at the top of the page in line with the other columns, okay? Uh, next up is something like what's called a, a runt here, this one word at the end of the paragraph. Again, we're just going to adjust this with tracking. So you can go either way. So if I um, decrease the tracking, we can try to uh, bump it so it goes, everything kind of gets condensed and it goes, uh, removes one line, which worked really well. So I went to minus 10, so this is at zero, then minus 10. And uh, the line moved up and now there's no word just kind of awkwardly by itself at the end. Now let's see what happens if I go plus numbers. So I did plus 10, now it moves some things down. It kept that line, it didn't condense it, but it moves some of the other words uh, down to the bottom. Now you have a full line of text at the bottom of this paragraph, okay? So this looks a lot better, a lot more clean, a lot more balanced than just having like one word at the end of a paragraph, okay? Uh, and then again, so this is an example of, on this paragraph, the hyphenation. Uh, it's hyphenating the word adorable First off, we want to get rid of hyphenation, but this is also some problems it can cause. So now it says adore, hyphen, and then able at the bottom. That's just really bad typesetting, okay? So for example, we will get rid of hyphenation. That's how it should look like that, okay? Uh, just some more terminology. You're going to want to use, for this project, you're going to want to use what's called left align, rag right. So, the paragraph styles for this that show all the letters lined up completely straight on this left edge. This is left aligned. Um, some people also call this flush left. Then you'll notice on the right side of this column, the words, it's like a, you know, it's kind of like a jagged edge. The words are different um, ending points, okay? So that's rag right. So flush left. Rag right. Now you also probably familiar with um, fully justified. So if I click, I'm just changing here. We're not doing this, but you might have seen some articles, some publications where it is fully justified. So both the left and right edges of the paragraphs are perfectly uh, lined up. 
okay? Uh, this can be aesthetically pleasing because it's like so uh, kind of perfect and you know even, balanced. However, it's just quite often not easy, it's not as pleasant to read. Um, the other thing that happens is you get these big spaces. This is called rivers. So without this rag right, it's trying to extend these lines, and now you have these big spaces between some of these letters here. And then they start making, um, I mean, like look at this one. This, so you have these, this line up here, all the letters, everything is kind of nicely put together. And then it's trying to put this last line, these massive spaces between each letter, okay? So yes, it's nice and even, but we're not gonna do this. Um, this is just, uh, honestly, it's kind of old fashioned. It just doesn't really look good. And um, it's just kind of awkward with these spaces in between them, okay? So I'm gonna change that back to uh, aligned left, flush left, rag right, okay? 